What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to more Bio Mutant. So let's continue along. Learn about the Wung Fu. An emergency box from the. <laughs> Old World Claw Bar. Guessing I can use this to get open doors that are otherwise stuck. Looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Oh, I didn't notice the X prompt. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. I don't trust that. What's that? The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed. You're on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Press the indicated input while it is shown will trigger your special attack. Unstoppable pig. What did that do? Ow! Alright, I need to hang. I gotta get this down to like one guy here. There's too much bullshit going on. Ow. Okay, hang on. Finish him. Oh. God damn it. No. Ah. There we go. Alright, it's telling me about that combo that I just unlocked. Okay, so maybe the, the Y thing, the basic attacks, are only with the other weapon, not with the, uh, not with dual wield. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You defeat morks and find containers and use them to unlock special powers at any time by accessing mutations menu. the mutations menu. Go to mutations tab to unlock side powers, biogenics, and upgrade your resistances. Um, side powers. What is this thing? Put down the input you have. Blaze will launch and leave a trail of fire. The side powers, you're like an elementalist. Biogenics. Use a moth mouth, press the input button. So infect any small humanoid enemy hit. While infected enemies will attack allies or spew toxic slush in the direction you are facing and damage to all enemies hit. I think the toxic slush Mutation unlocked. sounds good. I think that has good melee synergy. Um, let's do that on A. Left trigger on A, got it. This game is so weird, but it's like all so fresh and new and like I'm liking all the, the you know, I feel like we don't see a lot of new IPs these days, you know, 
Like, every time we get something, it's like a copy of a copy of a copy. Um, and this, this feels very, very new and unique. I mean, there's a, there's some obvious Devil May Cry inspiration here in the combat. Vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Like all the, the mutations and everything, just seems like there's a lot going on here, and I'm enjoying it. Scattered out the round. I'm on blah 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 blah. Switch node is selected using left stick to rotate the node. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher the intellect, the more moves you have. Each node has a certain position. It must be rotated to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves may have consequences. Nope, um, there we go, that's easy enough, just had to match the colors up. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. So humanity is basically gone. The sound of spawn oh. metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Um that just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. There you go. Friend with gun? Airstrike. Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head. And after hitting the enemy again, you can launch them in the air by pressing the left bumper. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Slice him, ducks. Swoon. Oh, aerial combos. Slash. 
Well. I'm trying to get down the exact timing to do this with. Wait, you left- oh, for a second I was like, you left out your cricket! He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Yeah, you mawa. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. Tolu Keta, ya wawanawe, le ya yado. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Yeah, you mawa. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. So it's like a kung fu revenge story. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. New friend. By default, dialogues are set to advance from one line if you want. Manually advance. Now we can turn that on. Way back in the long ago. <laughs> Ask like if you Fonzie tired, Ferret. As it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Muma knows you are here. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Muma's love. 
He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. <laughs> this thing is so derpy sounding. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> the small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. <laughs> You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. <laughs> Oop, nut. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. <laughs> but today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. All right, so let's go back up top. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. 
The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. <laughs> That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity, and the only one strong enough to keep the six Wang Fu disciples disciplined. He lost you there for a while. But no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Pup at the end of the West Room. <laughs> His names. Ah, the Wheels deadly jumbo puff. His octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed They're the all puffs and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the goo glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. <laughs> out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. <laughs> the road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. The Rodnet. Fate of the world. Well, this seems like a good spot to, to break after all that dialogue. I'm going to go grab me some lunch. Uh, but either way, stay tuned. Looks like we got four main areas to go to. I'm guessing all of them have a separate biome type feel to it. Should be a pretty cool exploration. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you all soon enough with more Biomutant.